I'm Etna, and I go to Raysbeck Aviation High School. I row at Mount Baker for the Novice Girls. I'm excited to come back to rowing every day because I feel like I improve myself in a way, and, I will, and I'm a type of person that wants to do as many things as she can, as best she can, and I feel like a thing I'm good at is rowing. It helps me when I'm going through tough times, I guess. So I tell myself that there's other girls going through this pain and that if I stop, then it's not going to help the boat and I'm just going to be a pain to the other girls and I shouldn't just be thinking about myself, I should be thinking about the girls that are in the boat with me. When it's getting hard, I also tell myself that I'm getting stronger by doing this and I tell myself that it's going to help me mentally too, which I'm big about. So. Finding that I like rowing felt amazing because what I like to be, like it gets emotional sometimes because I've been waiting for so long to find a sport that I liked and I found one. It pushes me and I like it. My name's Jock, and I go to Ingram High School. Well, during great practice, I'm usually just focused on the guy in front of me, just um, going up the slide and swinging with him, and just keeping keeping myself in sync with everybody else. I guess things that are challenging in practice is definitely pushing yourself because a lot of it has to do with your like your, your mind, you know, and because you can do all these things, but you don't know you can do them, and you really gotta push past the barrier to do it, so. Well, I've learned that I have go a lot harder than I actually thought I could, and that I can push myself a lot farther than I thought I could. So. Hi, I'm Markel, and I am 22. My role with Erg Ed is that I am a Erg Ed instructor, so part of my job is going into schools and helping teach the erg ed curriculum that is now in seattle public schools and then i also do outreach so that means connecting with students let them know the benefits of doing the sport let them know the scholarships that we give um, how you can best use these resources to benefit your life um, i help with running the practices and connecting with the kids to make sure that they're okay and making sure that the launches are ready when we need to go and kind of just being, filling the need wherever it, it is. I hope that people in practice with me learn that they're always welcome. Hard work is a must and that they learn to love the water as everyone else coaching them does. Something that was hard in rowing was, yes, no one did look like me. And, that, and I lived far away. And my lack of resources or limited resources made it really hard to really connect with the team. What helped me get through these challenges that I faced in rowing was the support group that I had in Rainier Valley Rowing, which is called Row to the Future now. And my common ground was the diversity and the understanding that we had as our family unit. We were always heard and considered. That really made the difference for me with rowing. Um, and it changed my life and I want other people who look like me, who act like me, to know that they have a place in a family in rowing. And I want to be able to show them what that can look like. Road to the Future, their whole purpose is to make sure that you know someone has your back. And that, if anything, is the most important thing for a child to know.